Hey gentle kids! Today we are going to be painting water. With watercolors. <laughs> and oil pastels. Oh, that was good. And oil pastels. Yes. Oh, can you introduce us? Yeah, this is Nicole. I think you know her already. <laughs> This is Keenan, the oh. cameraman. Oh yeah. But not with a C, with a K. Oh, <laughs> yeah, with a K. <laughs> and here we have Mr. Paper. Yep. He is our paper for the day. Perfect. Oh, did you say your name? Oh yeah, I'm Ella. Nice to meet you, Ella. <laughs> I'm Ella Way. Ella Way. Ella Way. <laughs> so good. Ella Okay, so Ella did a great job introducing the pro or what supplies we're using. We're gonna be making this beautiful Monet inspired water lily painting. So the supplies that we're gonna be using are Ella said our watercolor or our oil pastels. We will also be using just a little bit of blue watercolor. And you can use any brush that you have. We are using the one that came in your box if you have our box. You may or may not need a pencil, but if you have that handy, that's great. And then Mr. Paper, like and you said. Mr. Paper. <laughs> Mr. Paper. Okay, and so. He, I, I go for think, it. I think he's not married. Though. Oh, the okay. Paper's so not? I don't know what. That's why yeah, so he's Mr. He's Mr. Still, though. Yeah. He's not married. Okay. Guys. Mm. Don't try and go to his wedding, though, because he might never find a mate. Because <laughs> he doesn't have a face. <laughs> so. <laughs> You're so creative. I love the way your brain works. Okay, so can I teach them about Monet? Because you, have you learned? Or, Monat. Monat. It does look like Monat. It's M-O-N-E-T. So we are learning all about different famous artists. He's a really big popular one. He's big and popular. He is big and popular. But he made, his, if we can do an overhead shot, all three of these beautiful paintings. And can you see how there's all these different little dots? It's not like a smooth painting. So he used oil paintings. But he's known for, it's called Impressionism. But what it is, is it's quick, short strokes. So that's how when you look at this, it's like all these little tiny d lines. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be channeling our Monet and creating a water lily painting, just like him. So if you flip to, this is on page six, if you have our zine, our Inspired by Famous Artists zine. Our, it's kind of like a magazine. Yeah, this is a magazine, yeah. It's a magazine. It is. It's a zine. So, so clever. Do you want to do the first step? We are painting the water by water and blue and something that goes with water else. I said that Color. sentence wrong. No, you said it right. You did a great job. No, you I did a said good job. whatever blue color sentence wrong. Oh. What did I just say? Can you teach us how to do it? Yeah. Okay. First, we take water and then our brushes and then our blue and then we paint, 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 paint. paint. Perfect, let's and do it. Okay, so we're gonna dip in water. We put some color already, oh, on our palette. Colari. And again, if you have a different brush, you can use that. We're going to paint the entire Mr. Paper. Ooh, that's fun looking. He's gonna have a face now, guys. <laughs> so we're gonna paint the whole thing blue. So this is our water. And we're using watercolor to do a whole, to paint the pond. You think it's pond, a pond? I think Or is this a lake? I don't know hmm. what it is. Yet. What if it's just a slow moving part of the river? Oh. Lily it, pads though, they yeah. usually grow on a pond, I think. I'm not really sure. Pond in the lake. <laughs> if he was still here, if Monet was still here, he would tell us what it he would. I, I, think, I think Monet had bad eyesight. Really? Mm -hmm. I think. Fun fact, guys. Fun fact. Another fun fact. He would paint, so he made over 250 paintings. Holy cow. Of this same, all of his water lilies. So if you look here, these are more of his water lilies. But he would paint them at different times of the day. So that's why oh. this is it kind of more when the sun's out and maybe this is a little bit darker. I thought that was so cool. That is cool. Oh, look at all your fun, pretty blooms that you got. Love it. Okay, that's the step one. Now you need to let it dry. So that was a quick step. And now it's time for a snack break. 
Perfect. <laughs> so let it dry, and then we'll meet back and do the other steps. Go, hello. We are back from our snack break when there wasn't actually snacks. <laughs> Kenan forgot snacks. I didn't forget snacks, I ate them. He ate all the snacks. Yeah. So we're here and we're ready to pipe. Yes. Okay. Because we did not have snacks. The next step, so we let it completely dry, so all nines are dry. We are going to start and draw our lily pads. Have you ever seen a lily pad in person? They're really pretty leaves and they're on the water. So they sit on the surface. How so, do they grow? That's a good question. I don't 100% know, but they're pretty tall when the flowers on them bloom. So let me actually look up how they grow. They're also, you know. they're so peaceful. Oh, I realize I have a blue thumb right now. <laughs> but so what we're doing is we have our water. We are going to use our darker green color and we're just gonna draw the lily pads. So you can draw them really big, you can draw them small. And the lily pads, because they kind of move in the water, they tend to be kind of in clusters. So what Elle and I are doing are drawing kind of oval or circular shapes on your water. So we're drawing our lily pads. So we're gonna do them in different areas. Nicole, do you wanna to shift to your right? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Like that? Yeah. And okay. then can you bring your art to the left? Yes. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So we're just drawing. We're being an artist, channeling our inner Monet. 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 For Monet. Kids. We're Monets, but girls and boys and babies. Well, not technically babies because they can't draw. They can do these marks, though. But Monet, which is why I think it sounds different to us, is he was born in France, so it's French. But what if he was born in America? I don't know if it, if it would be the same. That's a good thought. Yes! Maybe a little bit. Yeah, good eye. So color them in. So again, we're just drawing circles. They can be anywhere you want. Remember, this is your painting. Wonderful. Next one is, if you look at this, you'll see that it's not just the dark green. We also have some light green. So grab your light green. I'm going to just cover the whole thing with them. You can if you want, yeah. If your whole pond has them. I mean, I have a pond, but i never seen lily pads before. Your pond is not clean. <laughs> it's a little bit different. Yeah. So when you're doing this, you're just going to draw more circles or ovals. And they can, they can overlap. And what overlap means is if you have your dark green and your light green goes on top of it. So they can touch. Because again, they're kind of, they move, if you think about it, it's the water, they might kind of move like this and touch and overlap a little bit. So we're gonna just draw. This is really fun. Just drawing circles. Boom. I can ruin my whole thing with this one. Yes. Let me get used to this. Are you looking? Are you looking for something? Or are you just getting used to it? You said. Yeah, I just getting used to it. I like it. Thanks. Sometimes they may break. Yeah, like this. <laughs> I don't know if you want to do it on purpose. <laughs> I, I can. I could probably just do it with these fingers. You probably could, but let's. I would like them to stay nice. Yeah, one whole piece. But if they break, it's okay. You can still use them. You just broke it on purpose. I did not. I wouldn't break it on purpose. Nicole uses okay. her uh, pastel crayons. I push really hard. Yeah, she Very pushes seriously. Hard. Yeah. Very seriously. <laughs> I do take this seriously. Whoa. Yeah. I'm not sure how lily pads grow, but they oh, can it? be huge. Like 15 feet. Whoa. If I That's like that this big. It's not, nope. That's not that big. Oh, feet, not, not inches. inches. Whoa! It's what? That's what I'm saying. I'm pretty sure they can be gigantic. 15 feet. Huge. Fun fact, kids. Listen to the grown-ups. Is five of me. Three of me. Three of you. Can you imagine that? Goodness. Three of me? Oh, my lily pad. <laughs> oh, my lily pad. Sweet lily pad. <laughs> that was great. Okay. So, our lily pads, our, li our, our lily leaves 
no, our water lilies have flowers on them. Some of them, not all of them, but some of them have flowers. In nature, they can be all different colors. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, we yeah. have... One fact. Yeah. The rarest um, color of flower in the world is blue. Wow. I didn't know that. Did your dad teach you that? That's a great fact. I didn't know that. Hmm. Maybe we should make some blue lily pads then. You should make some or blue lily, lily pads. <gasps> okay, so then you can do blue too. But you have pink, which some of them are pink, some of them are orange or white. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick a color and if you want, you can be very careful about them or you can just kind of just kind of scribble. So they look like flowers. So this is how you use your imagination. I know you might look at that and think, Nicole, that's not a flower. <laughs> We're using our imagination and I see flowers. I see little flowers on top of my lily pads. Just kind of scribbling on top. And again, you'll see Ella and I kind of move around. They can be anywhere. And then if you feel like, okay, I'm good with orange or whatever color you have, I'm gonna pick up another color and make a few more. Oh, I love the blue ones. Ella, that's amazing. I'm literally actually just scribbling. I, sometimes once I go too fast, I can't see anything. It just turns all into a big blur. Yeah, because you're looking so close at it. Yeah, you're like. That's why it was good how you looked back a little bit and saw what you were doing. I like that. Wow. I love it. So you can go slower if you want. If you want to draw more ovals and make them look like flowers, you can do that as well. Can I just like scribbles? I think I'm gonna make some white ones. What? How do you use white on your pet? Oh, can you see? I guess I should have just thought about that. If you use white, it lay it sits on top of it. Isn't that cool? So you can still see it. Nice. So we're doing some white. Man, those lily pads look good. Ooh, I think I'm gonna make a rare, a rare blue one. <gasps> yes. This is the only one I'm looking at compared to all of this. Yeah. Should I make some of them more bigger too, or do you think that's yeah. special like that? Okay. Just like the blue. Yes. Mine's a little messy. <laughs> it's not messy. It's. That's your art. I could be art like, is messy, actually. You can actually just draw a little bit. Well, so what we're gonna do, the last step, is can that we we're gonna use, step? yeah. So can you look at this and see how there's kind of this glimmer and it's a lit, it's like softer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use blue and white. Can't see it. See how different this looks compared to this? Okay, well, let me show you. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna draw light lines with your blue and your white, then you're gonna use your magic tool, which is your finger. What? And you're gonna blend it. So can you see how that's a little bit different? We don't want it to be very vibrant, but what happens is that, you know when you look at, if you're looking at your pond, mm -hmm. it's not a solid color, it has a little bit of texture. So we're adding some texture and glare and glimmer to it. Yeah. So you just draw a light line. So you can do it in one spot, you can do it in multiple spots. We're just kind of lightly doing it. And yeah, you kind of blend and smudge them together. My fingers gonna get really dirty. Maybe <laughs> like your pond. Mm. So Ella and I just added more texture to her water. She did such a beautiful job. I love all the different reflections that she created. And I love how creative you were doing your blue. And I just realized we didn't do the motto. <laughs> can we do it at the end? Can we do it right now? I yes. promise I can be brave and kind and powerful. I forgot the motto. <laughs> I mean, all it. those are really good words. Okay, we're gonna do it once just because I feel like I wanna do it with everyone. Is that cool? Do you want to say it? Yes. Sure. I am brave. I am kind. I oh, wait. We got to. Can we? I have to repeat after you, yeah. so you got to go slow. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am, I am kind. kind. I am creative. I am creative. creative. Let's do this, people. Boom. Mm. That is our ending motto. We had so much fun creating this Monet inspired water lily painting. Oh, look at this guy. That's another artist. Van Gogh, can you show them? So there's a few different. There's a 
a couple different famous artists that you can learn more about and create. And have you heard of him before? Okay, we'll have to teach you that. Van Gogh. Van Gogh. So this is another one. Just remember, kids, because you use your magic tool, which was your finger, to wash your hands. And then show, show us what you created. Show your grown-up what you created. We want to see and say that you are inspired by the artist Monet. We have a Facebook group called, called Let's Make Art Kids. And Ellen and I would love to see what you create. Thanks for being here. Bye, guys.